right? Uh, Garmin Rhino 120 is the model number. Uh, pretty good, I love it. Uh, I don't know if you guys are anything like me. I don't need a color screen. Uh, like I said in uh, my past videos, I don't really use a GPS for navigating. I use this more or less for marking waypoints um, and using the radio on it for communication. Uh, you know, I I pretty much set out a plan before I go, so I and I have a map. I know where I'm going, so I don't really need the GPS to tell me where I'm going. Uh, but what I do use it for is when I get close to locations like water, um, shelter, things like that, or resupply locations, I have it marked on here and it will alert and let me know when I'm getting close. That way I know how to rationalize what I have left. Um, anyways, back on the Garmin Rhino 120. Um, great little device. Uh, it runs on three AA batteries. You can also put in rechargeables and um, charge it up if you'd like. This device here has a two-way radio in it. It has 14 channels of the family radio service, the FRS band. And then it also has channels 15 through 22 are GMRS, General Mobile Radio Service, I believe is the, uh, the correct wordage for that. Now, one thing I do want to put out there to you, be very cautious if you're transmitting on 15 through 22 channels because the GMRS radio system is a repeater system and you do have to have an FCC license for those radio bands because they go through a repeater tower and I believe they're on a 463 megahertz band um, which is a little bit off from the 800 that the uh, emergency band is. Anyways, uh, good piece of equipment though with the radios because if you have another um, person who has a two-way radio, you can use it and talk just fine. You have uh, all your regular channels plus your squelch codes uh, and it also does encryption so you can have secure um, communications. Now the other thing I do like about this Garmin is that if you have another individual that has a Garmin, a uh, Rhino model that is, every time you push the talk button to speak to them your little guy on here, and I, and I don't know if you can see it or not, probably not, that little guy right there, when I push the talk button, the flag goes from his side up in the air. And what that means is, and it can do it every 30 seconds, what that means is it will transmit my location to another Rhino user that I'm talking to every 30 seconds in the same way with theirs. Um, he'll put the flag back down by his side when he is ready to transmit the location again. Now what that is good for is if you are lost, hurt, endangered in any way, and you have another person out there with one of these, it will give them your location and they will be able to hike within, uh, right now my fix is within, now this is driving down the road, I have a 3D accuracy fix within 13 feet. So could you imagine if you're stationary trying to find? I mean, you have like a seven foot fix. That's that's great. Um, so that that's really good because if you're injured or anything, they can find you. Or say you go to hike and hike off and get some firewood and you don't come back. They can't raise you on the radio uh, because something happened to you. But you're able to push the button. It's great, great stuff. I love it, you know. You can just push that button once, it'll send it, send it to them and they can find you. So that, that, that's really good. I got people talking on here. Great. Um, some other cool things about this. Also, you can, if you have a location stored on your GPS, like a waypoint, and you need everyone else to meet with you, if they have this device, you can send them that location. And what that will do is that will let everybody know what location you want to meet at, and it will give them from where they are, basically navigate them to that location, you guys can all meet at the RP, as we call it, the rendezvous point. Um, what else can I say about this little guy? It's got some pretty cool stuff. It's got games. Uh, it's got a hunt and fish application. Basically tells you in the area you're in, it'll tell you the best times to hunt or fish during the day or evening. It'll tell you the best times, then the mean times, and then the mediocre times. 
Uh, so if you're scavenging for food, this is great. Also tells you sunrise and sunset, so it will help you plan for uh, where you're going, what you're doing, how you're going to get there, and when you need to stop, and all the above. Uh, really, really cool device. I like it. Let's see what else we got here in the menu. Uh, your trip computer. Now, this is really cool. Um, on your trip computer and stuff, it will tell you how far you've gone, your average walking speed, um, it, it, everything you can imagine. Um, how much time until you reach your next waypoint, and then how much time to your final destination, uh, and on down the list. It also includes a uh, calculator for doing uh, mathematical equations. If you got a lot of people with you, and maybe you're in survival mode, and you have to calculate water and food usage, I, I don't know, whatever. Anyways, it's got it. Uh, stopwatch. It's got a stopwatch with a chronograph. It's great. It's great for hiking. Um, especially if you're trying to keep track of your distance and stuff like that. You'll know where you gotta go, how long you've hiked there, and you'll know how long to get back. So that's a really good tool to have on this. Battery life. Um, I believe with just using the GPS, it is 28 hours on three AA batteries. Uh, if you use the radio and GPS constantly, they say it's about 15 to 16 hours. Now, I personally used this last weekend when I went out for a hike, and I've been using it all day while I was out on this hike, and my battery is still full, still reading full. So, I have not had this thing probably, let's see, battery life on it. I would say 30 hours is about the average I'll get out of it. Um, but now, when I'm hiking, like I said, I don't use it for navigation. Um, if we're in a tight group and we're not spread up or anything, I don't turn this thing on um, unless we are getting you know, closer to an area that I know I have waypoints in the area. I'll turn it on, locate where they're at. Or if we're getting low on supplies, then I can turn it on and know where we're at. But most of the time, I'll leave it off. That way, I know it's going to work when I turn it on. Another cool thing about it, let me tell you, waterproof. This is waterproof up to one meter for 30 minutes, um, which isn't, you know, I think it's impressive because, you know, if I drop this in one meter of water for 30 minutes and it just soaks and soaks and soaks and I pull it out and it works, hey, I'm ecstatic, let me tell you. Now, there's other people out there who go, oh, you know, oh, one meter for 30, what is that, you know, nah you know what, that's good enough, because you're not going to go floating down the damn river in this thing. Um, this is, you know, if it gets wet in the rain, uh, it's, it's going to work, stuff like that. So, uh, quick overview on it. Let me grab the clip. Okay, it comes with a standard belt clip. You just place it on, click it, swivel. It's kind of bulky, but it works for hanging on your pack and stuff like that. It comes with a lanyard. I put the lanyard on it just for, uh, you know, if I have it out, I put it around my wrist, that way I don't lose it. I don't know about you, but this thing MSRPs for, I think it's $199, which isn't too bad. Maybe you figure $199 bucks plus tax, get you a solid GPS. Like I said, it's black and white. Uh, I don't need color or anything. Color screens, they're okay, but what do you really need it for? I mean, Black and white works. Uh, American, well, not only Americans, but civilization itself got along with black and white in the 50s. I mean, you know, it, screw it, whatever. That's my opinion. But for the most part, uh, black and white, it's got built in base maps uh, for US for water and land with the hunting and fishing application. Now you can buy the um, map overlays uh, from Garmin if you really need it, but I go in and I map out, there is a option in here, let me find it, it's called routes, and you can map out your routes, hook it to the computer, it has a uh, serial port adapter that plugs into this, and you can map out all your, uh, your routes where you're going and it'll put it on the map that's built in here. So you don't really need um, too much when it comes to maps. 
you know, unless you're just really weird like that. Let's see here. Excuse me, I have to yield. Uh, but anyways, so that's a little overview on the Garmin Rhino 120 model.